Hello everybody and welcome back to the streak. We are jumping in again and unfortunately, unfortunately for our 20th win, we got the lost. So, I mean, it seems pretty fitting to go for our 20th win on the lost, but obviously the lost comes with some heavy, heavy, heavy risks um, that I do not wish to... Uh, do not wish to have to actually deal with. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Um, we get a free curse room here. We've got to make sure we don't get hit in it. This would be a really dumb way to die really early on here. But effigy is actually a pretty amazing, uh, a pretty amazing item to get off the bat. Chance of rooms to just not have stuff in them sounds kind of amazing. Um, I'm going to play this as safe as I possibly can. Let's destroy our fires here as well. Good, good. But yeah. Lost, he's not the hardest character by any means. In fact, I really don't think he's that hard. But it's one of those characters where all it takes is like one bad room. One room to go more wrong than it should. Or one boss to go more wrong than it should. And it can all come crumbling down. So we've just got to play really cautiously. Um, when you take fatal damage, all red heart containers are converted into empty burn hearts. I actually don't know if that would work for us. Um... I'm not entirely sure, but it might be worth grabbing. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little look. It's from it's from Retribution. One second. It doesn't say, but the fact that it says it can prevent fatal damage, it might work for us. I think it's worth trying. Uh, also, we got a dice shard out of that room, which is kind of nice as well. But yeah, it's one of those items that I don't think it will work likely, but I think it's yeah worth trying. Um, let's try and destroy these fires first, and then we can try and get our boom spider to. Um, Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we can crack that real quick. We can do that. Quickly do this. This, this does save us. That will save us. That's one life there. Um, I don't actually know if this would work in this room. Ah, oh, do you know, that's that's kind of a shame. That I, I, I really... I really was hoping that would work. Hagadars on those. That, that, that should maybe be patched, uh, in my opinion. That would be... It'd be nice if those worked on those to instantly destroy them. Um, I would very much like options, please. Or I will try and get an extra penny for that. But yeah, we might use our dice shard and our boss here. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to do my other room here first. Try and get a penny. Um, and I, I've got... I think I've got to bomb this thing three more times yet. So I'm not even close to that at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. This guy's a champion, so just be a little cautious. He's not too bad with the spiders and stuff we've got to help. A key, that's no penny. Um, we do have a bunch of pennies over here, but we don't have any way of getting to them. Uh, oh, there you go. Beautiful stuff. Uh, some options just allows us to get better room drops on average, and a choice between stuff is always nice. Um, right, let's quickly pop in here and grab it. There's obviously a bomb there as well. We'll see if what we end up getting. We'll make a matchstick from our boss here or something. Um, I don't even know if matchstick would be worth taking, though, considering we've got a D6. It might be better to reroll into something a bit better. Unfortunately, this is the kind of boss that I suck at, so let's try and take out this little dude first so he's not in the way. Um, we'll try our best to take out these dudes because they, they create fire and all sorts of crap. This guy honestly isn't too bad, but he can cover quite a lot of the room in fire, so you've got to be a little wary of uh, where he's throwing his shit, and whenever he puts his coals down, you kind of got to make sure you're not stood in the way of them. Again, we also got to make sure that these guys get taken care of pretty quickly as well. Anyways, how is everyone doing this fine, fine day? Um, and what's what's some of the most frustrating moments you've had in video gaming history or of your time playing video games? What's one of the most frustrating uh, times that you've uh, that you've had? I think that'd be a pretty interesting one. Um, not that it's to do with frustration, but just in, in, on the topic of gaming, recently me and my girlfriend started playing the new uh, Tomb Raider remasters. That was a game from my childhood that I'm quite fond of, and same with my girlfriend, so the remasters we were hoping would be good, and they are indeed quite good. So it's very nice to see those. Uh, this is just great, we'll just take this. Uh, so unfortunately, Dice Shard, we're going to leave you behind. Uh, although, actually, saying that, uh, if I leave this here for a second, I do believe Dice Shards um, can re-roll... Um, like it, it, it is also a d20, so is there a room that has a particularly high amount of stuff in it? That's got one. That's got two hearts in it. This has a lot of stuff in it that we can't get to, though. It's a shame there's no way to get through those. And um, there's no way for us to collect stuff and take it into other rooms, so... I guess we just use it in this room with two and hope for the best. 
That's not really what I was expecting, but I will bomb that in the hope that we get some good stuff out of it. Didn't exactly get what we wanted, but I'm pretty happy with that. And we do have two potential methods of revive right now. We have one guaranteed and one potential. Uh, we're just going to make sure we don't accidentally use it. That would be that would be pretty horrific. Anyways, let's keep on going because I, I feel like I'm the sort of guy that could easily accidentally use this thing. Um, we got plenty of keys to work with, which is quite nice. Seed bag here is pretty good. I would rather you not steal my charges, but I'm going to take seed bag anyways. I think seed bag is pretty useful. It was pretty cheeky of you there. Pretty cheeky indeed. Seed bag can be a little risky because it can do some tier effects that are sometimes not so kind. But overall, it's pretty good. We do have a D6 room here, but I'm not particularly interested. Another dice shard. Spawn an item from the current room's item pool. Converts. Okay, we can use that, I believe. Um, we'll leave it there for now, though. Um, the dice Again, the dice shard as well we'll leave there. We'll see what we end up getting. Uh, we want to find our secret room realistically to uh, make good use of the... Um, I'm pretty sure secret room's right here, but I'll check. Uh, to make good use of that secret room item thingy. Yeah. I don't know, actually. Is it there? Got one of these rooms now. Good. Ooh, we, this guy turned that enemy into a lesser version. Automatically smell some pickup. Devil room items are free, but only one can be taken. Angel rooms cost, but can take multiple. Um. Well, they're all free anyways, right? So... Don't think that makes any difference to us. I don't think this makes any difference to us. I'm going to pick it up. I, don't, I honestly don't think that, that changes anything for us. Quickly destroy these fires. Don't really know what I'm looking for here. Just trying to play as cautiously as I can here. Good. Pull route, you get up here and come help me out with this next room. Sinted rock there, I didn't even see. Lovely. And more keys as well. We like that. We like the fear as well. The fear's nice. Kind of an interesting room here. Enemies that sort of work off the back of one another. We set you on fire, which is kind of strange. Okay, we've got this here. This is um, receive for the room. Eh, we don't really want that, I don't think. Let's uh, let's keep looking around this floor for a minute. Um, do we need to go to the other room? Let's just do the boss. Let's just do the boss. We've got two bombs. I'll uh, maybe use them on the bosses, depending on what bosses they are. We, this is actually a not bad room, because we do have rocks to save us if we need them. I'd rather not use them, though, obviously. Got a god flesh one there. Don't think that'll do much for us in this guy, but they still do good damage regardless, even if they don't uh they don't activate their effect on the bosses. Good, good. Range, I think this is the point in which we go get that dice shard. We'll check out this in here. Um and we did get Mum's knife, nice. We did get Mum's knife. That is a it's a little risky because that does compromise our range. In fact, it might be worth taking that simply for the range. I know that seems a bit silly. But honestly, we need range, and Mum's knife with the range that we have by default isn't great. So I think we'll we'll take that here. So right, let's take a look at where secret room could be here, because there's a few places that I've that was kind of scary. There's a few places that I've got in mind that it could be. Um, hello, you are you are giving contraband. Which contraband though? Good contraband. Oh no, bad contraband because we still can't take it. My bad. Um, I think it's here, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, okay, it is. Good. Quickly go in the room to see if there's any enemies in here first. There isn't. We've got an eternal heart, though. And we'll come and use our card over here, which will give us broken hearts, which doesn't do anything to us, which is nice. At least I think that's how it works. If this kills me, I'll be pretty upset. Um, and then we've potentially got a reroll for whatever we get in here. Yeah, I I'm going to reroll that. Sack of Sacks is good, but we're because of um, some options, we're going to be getting plenty of stuff to work with. So I'm going to dice shard this and try and get something better. I'm just looking for like, good secret room items. Maybe a one-up would be good. Spin down dice would also be quite nice. I'll, I'll take spin down. Uh, spin down into freezer baby. Yeah, why not? Spin down to freezer baby is not, not a bad call. Spin downs are, of course, a pretty fun item that we haven't had in quite some time. It is by no means a guaranteed win, having spin down, but we, we are in a pretty good place right now. We have very high damage, we have one or two revives, 
and we have a very, very good item for re-rolling stuff uh, in Spin Down. That can give us some pretty good items along the way. So I think I think we're set up for success so far. But as I said, really with the Lost, it's not about your damage dealing. It's not about any of that. It's all about um, it, it's all about like can you actually like not get fucked over in a room that's that's there to fuck you over? Because there is plenty of those in Isaac, and they can screw you over very very easily. Love that. Thank you. Don't know how that guy isn't dying there. That was weird. Well, that enemy I was like touching with my thingy. Uh, we need bombs at the moment. Definitely can't be doing anything to do with that room, sadly. I'm going to wait for this guy to do his jump. There you go. Good, good. I'm going to take the card. Okay. I'm liking having some options a lot. I do think that some options also massively increases the amount of room drops you get. Because I'm at zero luck right now. I'm getting a lot of room drops. It's it's pretty nice. Reduce the size of all enemies, um, even bosses, by 10%. This affects both sprite and hitbox. Is that useful at all? I don't I think I don't really think so. Um rerolls pedestals into devil deals. Okay, that is another one that we will keep in mind for, for later. Not particularly useful right now. We all, we always want to be holding onto our Lazarus one just in case, so it procs on um, get us dying. But we want to come back for that reroll most definitely. We're looking for a small rock, obviously, by uh, destroying these. So we've just got to keep blowing up tinted rocks. But yeah, that stays there, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. I don't know if I reroll a shop item. What happens? Do I still have to pay for it with money first? I don't exactly know how that comes into play, so... I'm, I'm not going to worry about the shop too much right now. I'll see if my boss item or item room item uh, end up being the thing I want to reroll. I'm not entirely sure yet. Good. Card pack there is rather nice. We get ourselves double our keys is very good. And double our keys is very good. <laughs> our keys... No longer a problem at all, which is rather nice. I think our range is actually pretty decent now as well. I'm happy with that. Another card. Uh, I'll take the card, obviously. Um, because that gives us a holy... I don't know if it gives us a holy mantle on top of the one we already have, but I'll just pop that anyways. Um, and this can be spun down into... Hmm... I'm going to spin that down. I'm going to try and get a few more spin downs from the shop, maybe, and see what I can work with there. Because that, that little glass one uh, you, that you saw, the, the glass champion thing, is like a thing that gives you a burn of stats until you next get hit, which is pretty good. Grab the money. We'll do our boss right now. This guy's, of course, not too bad. Easy enough. We did get perfection. Obviously, very, very nice to have that. Um, blue cap is just good for the fire rate. I'll take it. And that's pretty good too. We'll take that. Thank you. Okay. So we'll quickly go back to our shop here and see if we can get a battery charge. I don't know if there's any other way we're going to get battery charges though, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, no, we're no battery charge here. I would very much, very much like to buy the stopwatch, though. And thank goodness the game was very generous. We got the stopwatch. That makes life a lot, a lot easier as well. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted with a spin down. The thing is, should I now take acid, acid battery or not? Because I don't think I should. Because acid battery, basically what it does is every, um... Every 15 seconds, we... Uh, oh, sorry. Drain one item charge every 15 seconds. Um, doubles our active charge rate. And I think overall it's... Overall it's a positive. I'll take it. The acid trail is, is kind of nice as well, so... Um, should we look for secret room here, this floor? It might be uh, might be pretty useful to us. I think we're just going to go here for now. Nope. My bad. Yeah, that was kind of stupid of me, really, wasn't it? Um, we didn't actually get a chance to use this, which is a bit silly of me. 
Um, so let's quickly go into my shop and just try and use it on the items that are in the shop. I think there was another item in there. I'm not actually entirely sure. I might have just bought the only one in there. Uh, unfortunately, I did. Um, so we're not we're not going to get anything out of the occult thing right now, which is a bit of a shame. I think secret room is here. Puzzle piece will take. Puzzle piece. Yeah, we're not going to get anything out of the occult here, which is a shame. But, but I, I need to keep this on me. Um, we can go in here as well. Like, oh, there you go. We could technically use the occult on that. Yeah, I think we should use the occult on that and see what we get. Brimstone bombs is fine by me. And we'll grab that. We'll be on our way. Okay. We got to use it. Brimstone bombs isn't exactly the best for us, but it's it's useful. It's not bad at all. Yeah, you can hear our, our item charge ticking down, but we double charge it, so it shouldn't matter. Overall, it'll, it should lead to more charges, considering the speed at which we clear rooms. Um, but yeah, at the minute, I'm, I'm very much in, in high focus mode. I'm trying to make sure that I play to the best of my abilities. Rather nice there. Puzzle piece. Rather nice indeed. There's another one of those somewhere, isn't there? Yep. I'll take him out before we do anything else, really. And then these guys need to go before we deal with any of these folk. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. Nice. Don't think that does anything with Mum's knife. Uh, it actually does. It actually does. But I still think perfection is better unless we can smelt that somehow. We got a token there. Um, for safety, let's let's go and do this, and then there you go. Just to get a second one of them. I know that we might not be able to carry it to the next floor. But I think that's pretty good. That doesn't give us anything, unfortunately. Yeah, just just in case we do die this floor, we've then got a second one. I think the token obviously there's other things that could have been more useful, um, but this is the most likely to to be like. In case things go wrong. Because obviously if I die it uses it. So it'll be gone. And I won't be able to duplicate it after the fact. Obviously. So better to duplicate it now preemptively. Just as a, like, as a just in case. Rather than taking the risk of losing the one that I've got now on this floor. And then not having another. Should have left that charge key really. Might have needed it. Do not touch that thing. That chest is deadly to us. Very deadly indeed. Spin down shard there. Um, I guess I'll have a little look at that in case I want to double spin down this floor. Foul gut isn't super good for us. Um, unfortunately, a spin down doesn't do much for us here. I guess I'll use one spin down. Um, eh, I actually don't... I'm actually not going to take that... Like... It's good, but the Bombfly Familiar has hurt me in the past. It has, like, blown up next to me in the past, and I just... What's, what's, what's the point in taking that risk when I don't need to? Why did this room only half effigy? What the hell? I guess it was a room with two waves, maybe? Lovely. Love those mushrooms, just in case. Do you have good old Steven here? We still got a shop and item room to find this floor. And we have money for our item uh, for our shop as well, so it is very much worthwhile. Yeah, I don't know if battery acid was the right idea to be honest, considering how little we use our active. But eh, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Hey, there's our last um, puzzle, piece. puzzle piece. Well, we got that. We can go to Krampus. He said, unfortunately, all those are goddamn actives. So spin down doesn't do much for us there. That is always annoying when uh. Spin down doesn't even be useful because everything's actives. Check out in here. I think... I think this is good. With Mum's knife, it might not work, but I'm going to try it and hope for the best. 25% chance to fire out two tiers. Like I said, it might do nothing, but it's worth a gamble. Tarot reading is very good. I will buy that. Golden penny there, rather nice. Sorry, wait, what? We don't have anything that we can use on you right now. Okay, I think we're good to go. Um, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good to go here. Could find a secret room, I guess, here. Let's try it out. There you go. Justice is pretty useful for us right now. We got all four as well. We'll take that. We'll leave everything else behind. Okay. Let's go. Sorry, broken shell. You you could be good. It's same with Hot Wheels as well. I could spin down into Hot Wheels, but Hot Wheels can also like destroy rocks by accident and do stuff to you. So straight to the secret room here. I took Tarot reading basically for the womb floor, so I can skip straight to the boss. Strength card there is whatever. Three normal chests with the amount of stuff we've already got. I don't think we need. But yeah, item's going to be charging and decharging all the goddamn time. Pill, no thank you. Do these guys shoot at us? I, I, I don't remember which one of these shoot. Okay, these guys kind of shoot. The card here we get is Corruption. Straight to the error room. Unfortunately, that one's not going to be valuable to us either. Okay. Good run so far. I'm liking it. I mean, Mum's knife was, was just a blessing early on. It's just solved all of our potential damage issues. We'll crack that open and see what we get. Holy water's very good. We'll take holy water. Thank you. Um, Don't really think we get much out of that. Don't know what this goblet is, but I will try that out. I'll come back in a second. Right, come back. Let's so see what that gobbler actually does, because it looks kind of funky. Chalice familiar that gets filled with blood each time you get hit when moving to the next floor. Gain devil themed rewards based on how many times you took the pre uh, how many hits you took previous floor. Moving to the next floor with an empty chalice has a negative effect. Okay, we don't want to do that then. But we would like to spin down one more time to get herming, so we'll try and get enough to do that because. Sinister Sight is real good. Extra damage against feared enemies, which is a bit dodgy sometimes, just having feared enemies, but um, overall, I think it's going to be very good for us. The only thing is I have to make it back in 15 seconds after getting a full charge, which is a little, little annoying. Okay, Got to be careful of those, because those do hurtles. A lot of extra money there. Right, zoom back as fast as I can now. This is this isn't gonna work, is it? I think I'm gonna I think I've think I've screwed myself out of being able to get this item with spin down. Yeah, it's always gonna take me more time. That's really frustrating. Okay. What I can potentially do is maybe get it from this room here. Imagine that screwing yourself in this way. Go, 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 go. No, it decharged straight away. Okay. I don't know. This up, I've completely screwed myself here and I'm very annoyed about it. Um, God damn it, we're so close. Don't do it, don't do it. It's going to do it right before I get there. Yes, we got it. Gain herming tears. Tears have a chance to fear enemies. Fear enemies take extra damage. Okay. Okay. Mum's knife herming is very good. Very, very good. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad we were able to get that. I would have been really frustrated if I had completely locked myself out of getting that. That would have been quite funny. Um, but yeah. Herming's, herming mum's knife is really good. And this whole fear thing we've got going on with it right now is stupendously good. Like, Hermes Mud Knife used to be kind of just meh. Now it's real good. It got improved a lot. High Priestess is whatever. Still got a Solar Lazarus there. I will blow some of these guys up to get some uh, extra stuff potentially. Ooh! The Brimstone does some weird stuff there. Um, that's with uh, our 3D glasses, which isn't actually um, 
working with our mum's knife, unfortunately, but it is working in that regard. Let's keep going to the, to the boss. I think we're pretty set up for a win here, but like I said, all it takes is a little mistake or a, or a single, like, really bad room to really send things off the rails. Like, look, look at what's going on with mum's knife right now. It's doing some wacky stuff because of the herming. In a bad way, but <laughs> most of the time it's in a good way. Cool. Easy stuff there, easy stuff. Uh, that just spins down to key piece. Unfortunately, I actually don't want experimental treatment either. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on. Um, I'll, I'll just go down. There's been a few items that we've unfortunately skipped due to bad spin downs and just be, them being bad items. Um, I always want to go secret room first. Fortunately, this wasn't the secret room I was hoping for. Lovely stuff. I think it kind of like having Herming on Mum's Knife kind of extends its range as well a little bit. That's very good. We'll take it. Although it's a little bit of a risk. Our damage is so high that I don't think it's a problem. Don't think it's a problem at all. Haunted chest. I will try and take that. minions, thank you. I don't think these minions do anything bad to us, so why not have them? Can't open that chest. I mean, technically I can, but I don't want to risk it. Fiendfolio causing errors. Goddamn you, Fiendfolio. Ooh, hello. I didn't realize it spawned you little guys. Nice. Um, just bomb these guys. There's some wacky stuff going on with the brimstone bombs. It's kind of crazy. Imagine that with Herming's pretty, pretty sexy. Um, check this out. Crawl space, lovely. This is unfortunately another item we can't really take. My reflection, however, I think is pretty good. If we can get a spin down to this, that'd be good. Yeah, my reflection is just going to increase our range a lot. And I think it'll do some wacky stuff with Herming. I'm hoping it doesn't completely break it, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it does. It might. <laughs> Overall, it should just be a big range increase. Oh, wait, what? Okay, this might be bad. What, what's it doing? It kind of like... It disappears once it reaches the peak of its its path, which I don't think is good for us. I don't know why it's doing that. Is that a My Reflection Synergy? Like a modded one or something? Ooh, Worm Friend is pretty good. We'll see if we can spin down into that. It's, it's, it's not too bad. It still it still does good damage and stuff. It's not, it's not uh, disabled it too much. Greg the Egg... Mini battery. A lot going on right there. Worm friend, thank you. Yeah, I, I think my reflection is really bad for us, but I don't know why. That doesn't seem lo logical for a my reflection synergy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, once I finish this room, I'm gonna go and check the mod that adds Mum's Knife synergies and just see. Uh, let's let's go onto the Steam page. Mum's knife. Mum's knife synergies. Do, 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 do. My Reflection. When the knife reaches its peak, it immediately returns to you and deals damage to nearby enemies. Okay, so that, that's that's not bad. So it does have a specific synergy. It's just a bit weird, but apparently it deals damage to nearby enemies as well. So I don't know why Notch Axe disappeared there. That's my bad. Um, so it, it's not... I don't think it's an overall bad thing. I think we're okay. 
I don't think I think it has neutered its damage somewhat, but that AOE effect of it's kind of nice, so we'll take that. We'll take that. Um neither of these spin downs are very good, so I guess we just take multi-dimensional baby either way. And we keep on going down, and this is where uh tarot reading should hopefully come into its own. Yes. I guess it does let you, let it fire you fire it more, so that's good. A Genesis is in there. Uh, that's kind of funny. We'll just take this and see what we get though. Um, bombs will drop more often. Convert all your hearts. No, plus an eternal heart. Justice. Just in case we can stack the uh, thingies. Otherwise, all those are kind of not good for us. And we hope for the same again here. Beautiful stuff. Honestly, card reading is. Card reading on the womb is the actual best thing ever. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Do it again, game. Right. Little chub. Twisted pair. Obviously, we want twisted pair. We got conjoined out of that. With Herming, this is going to be insane. <laughs> okay, do it again. Do it again. No, no secret room. No secret room. No secret room. No secret room. Ah, oh, we got secret rooms. Okay. Yo, that's, that's pretty saucy. Also... The vast majority of them returned to us like normal, so we've regained the normal ability of Mum's Knife. Oh, did you see that? That that made me feel things, the way that that travelled through the room then. That was really spe something special. I, I, I quite loved that. There's just so many knives on screen all the time, I love it. As if we got Twisted Pair plus Conjoined. That was a brilliant pairing. 39 keys. I think we're good on that department. I'm, the only thing I'm actually worried about is actually Blue Baby. Blue Baby's not easy. Oh, it's two times damage multiplier depending on the speed stat Isaac has. Great, we have good speed stats. So that's quite a bit of extra damage. Boss time. <laughs> okay, so Isaac here, not a problem. But the blue baby does have boss armor. He'll die quick, but not instantly. And he has some tricks up his sleeve that could potentially cause issues. Tech X Mum's Knife. What does Tech X Mum's Knife do? Uh, that should be on the same page, actually, shouldn't it? Um, Steam page. I'm gonna take it, but if it's if it's an overwrite, I'll remove it. Cause I'd I'd rather be have fun with what we've got going on right now. It's not. That's uh pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Um Don't think we want any of those right now. Hello. Don't want Firemind either. Don't know if that's a good thing, to be honest, right now. Kills things quick, but it's a bit scary. Oh my god, the brimstones. <laughs> things are happening, people. We have created a monster. <laughs> that The item, uh, the, the 3D glasses item is always so stupidly broken. I don't know why, but every time I get it, I, I find some sort of weird game break with it. Throw your little head off, sir. Can you chill out, man, and just come up and die? Yeah. Really, all that faffing around for that wasn't really worth it, was it? Oh my god, every time we use a bomb, we just become this ball of brimstone. <laughs> Bombs, hearts, keys, and batteries have a small chance of turning into a collectible tumor now. We don't care about that, unfortunately. Not for now. At the start of the run, then, maybe, but not right, not right now.
Okay, although it's a bit laggy, this Tech X thing is, is pretty pretty gnarly. I like it. That's a pretty good thing to get on this character, too. Wormprun doing his thing. Okay, boss armor didn't even end up mattering. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you caught that, but I literally didn't get hit once, even on my holy mantle, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I did that entire run without getting hit at all. So, yay! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that for our 20th win. I think that's a pretty amazing 20th win. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.